you have all this stuff in their visual field that's potentially blocking the view. Now, on the one hand, if you notice, for example, you can see that in that little 58-degree sign, uh, that it was semi-transparent. You can see through the stuff. But there's this gen more general question about whether it's a good idea to put stuff in front of your eyes. And you have to remember, it's not being rendered the way it would in reality. In reality, it's just going to be that one eye is going to be being presented with this and not the other eye. And on, on the one hand, that sounds strange, but that's exactly the way that uh, I mean, oh, man, binocular really? vision that we have uh, may have a first evolved for just that kind of thing, for putting things in your visual field and yet doing it in such a way that it doesn't block the view beyond. You can also see your nose and see through it. So, in fact, binocular vision and our vision is designed to put things in our visual field, see it, have a really good view of it, and then be able to see beyond it. So, the idea of putting things in the visual field is, is not crazy. The little map was nice, directing him to go to the shop. Uh, as he moved, that map moved in his visual field, really, uh, so it really provided a nice visual feedback and sort of served a more analogous purpose to the way that we have things in the binocular field. There's a question about, you know, forgetting about seeing through them and the ability to see through them. Just, but what is the user thinking that they are? Are they something that's out a meter out in front of them? Thanks, is it part of the world or is it part of their own body? Uh, and my suspicion is the way to think about this is that um, they're part of your own body in the sense that at all times we walk around seeing our nose and see bits of our mouth and we actually see our cheeks uh, for example and when we smile it modulates and we see our brows so these parts of us are constantly following us around visually but we don't tend to notice them. It could be that the best way to think about how you're going to treat hey. these little these little user interface cool. items is that they're just part and parcel of yourself, part of the body that's in the periphery of your visual field, but now in addition to your body um, giving you feedback about where your mouth and eyes and things like this are, um, uh, it, it's just giving you feedback about many, many other sorts of things.